Anthony, which of the Senate candidates do Pennsylvania voters consider to be more upfront, more authentic, more likely to say what they mean instead of just saying what they think might help them politically? You know, that's such a great question because as much as we talk about this race being a national one, these candidate qualities really step, stand out. Um, look at this when we ask, okay, do these candidates say what they really believe? Like you said, well, majority think that John Fetterman does. But look at this break for us where 71% think that he just says what he thinks voters want to hear. That accrues to this idea of authenticity, right? Part of that also is when we ask, has Oz been in the state long enough to understand the issues? Now, this, of course, is a charge that the Fetterman campaign is making against him. You get over two thirds who say no, he hasn't. And that also goes to that authenticity measure. You know, one of the things that we look at here is when those candidates go back and forth about things, you also hear the Oz campaign talking about whether or not Fetterman is healthy enough to serve. That doesn't seem to be finding quite as much resonance because 59 percent, a majority of voters, and this goes into some Republicans too, say yes, they think Fetterman is healthy enough to serve. So you sort of contrast those two messages that the campaigns are putting out there, guys. And staying with the Senate race here, which candidate, which campaign is doing a better job at energizing voters, generating enthusiasm for their candidate, as opposed to enthusiasm against the opposing candidate? Well, that is so important coming out of these primaries. Now, in Pennsylvania, you had contested primaries. This is something we saw happen all over the nation. But what happens afterwards? Do voters think, do primary voters think, they nominated the best person in the end. Well, take a look at this. Right now, for Republicans, two-thirds of them almost are saying that they wish they'd nominated someone else. And that could be in part because they see Oz trailing in the polls, or it could be that they just haven't been motivated enough yet to vote for him. But that's something important because each of these candidates needs to motivate their base, needs to have their base feel good about that candidate. So that's something that really stands out. Now, let's contrast that, um, by the way, by looking at whether or not people are voting for them just to oppose the other candidate or because they're in favor of their own candidate. And here again, when you look at Oz's voters, these are people voting for him, right? A majority of them say they're doing it to oppose John Fetterman and not necessarily just because they like Oz. So here again, you see that gap between motivation, between the reasons that somebody's voting for one of these candidates. That's probably a, that's probably a dynamic that Oz needs to change in these coming weeks, guys. Mm -hmm. All right, let me ask you to get your numbers ready on the question of debating, you know, whether to debate, which candidate wants to debate, which candidate might be ducking debates. It's been a big deal here. What do voters at this point make of the back and forth over debates? Oz says he wants to do a bunch. Fetterman says, well, he'll do one, but there's nothing specific that he's agreed to uh, with regard to time, date, or place. How do the voters feel about that ongoing conversation? So by and large, voters think it is important to have a debate, but not necessarily very important. And then talk about campaign messages getting out there. Look at this split among Republicans. Now, of course, Oz, the Republican, is saying he wants to debate. A majority of those Republicans say, yeah, it's very important to see a debate. But look at the difference among Democrats, where only 30 percent say that it's very important for candidates to debate. And that maybe is some resonance with the idea that the that the Fetterman campaign hasn't been uh, talking about debating quite as much. So you see those partisan splits in importance, but yes, overall you see people attaching at least somewhat, at least some importance to the idea that the candidates should debate.